Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Pisces love prediction reading for September 12th through September 18th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, or if it resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you give me a, a subscription or a like. Let's see what's going on with my fun, loving, kind, sweet Pisces. What's going on my empathetic, kind, sweet, loving Pisces? Show me, spirit guys. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Pisces? Show me spirit, guys. Let's see, Pisces, what you got going on. Let's see. Page of Wands. The Sun card. Temperance. Six of Pentacles. And the Chariot. Well, Pisces, huh? This is someone that I see that is younger than you. Someone that is younger than you. Someone that though, even though they're younger than you, have a good time with this person because the Page of Wands is leading your reading, and I just think this is a relationship where someone is is younger and someone is more mature and older. Um, the page of wands is doing what you do, enjoying life, accepting life for what it is, not having a care in the world. And next to that, you have the sun. This is someone that you're with that when you guys are together, it's just all about fun. They bring, they make you feel like, um, you're young again. They make you feel like that you're young again. When I say young, I'm not saying, um, this is someone that is much, much older, but this is someone that's younger than you, someone that's younger than, than you, that you, um, you have enjoyed, you have you know, um, it just started off as fun. It has started off as fun, but it has grown into something much deeper. Because you didn't really think that... You kept trying to push them away, but they kept coming. And you finally said, okay, okay, I'm going to give you some of my time. And they sh they've shown you good times. You know, this card shows cooking on it. But the Page of Wands is just being free. Learn this is just a card of, of, of being a free spirit. And you went into this relationship like that. You went into the relationship like expecting nothing in return. But it has grown and has turned into something more than you could have ever dreamed of. Because this person, you have fun with them. You may learn how to cook as with this card. Maybe scuba diving, skydiving. It could be anything. It could just be at home playing uh, board games or playing video games. Whatever. When you are with this person, they are fun for you. They are good for your spirit, your soul. The sun card is here too, which means you have so much enjoyment and contentment with them. You know, the sun card is considered the best card in the deck. Um, so the sun card just means that this person just is all about that. And when I say all about that, they illuminate the good parts of you. They make you feel young again. You have a good time with them. But they are younger than you. Keep that in mind. They are younger than you. But look at the temperance card. And the temperance card is in the middle of your reading. The temperance card is about intimacy. It's about being extremely close. And this is what's happening. You are slowly but surely falling in love with this person. You are falling in love with some person. I do believe that you guys are falling in love with each other. Because temperance can mean Sagittarius as well. Um, can be anyone, but it's the sun sign of Sagittarius. But you are slowly and surely building a relationship with this person. And you never thought it was going, this, was, this wasn't your intent put it like that but you know what they say when you least expect it is when love comes when you least expected it and here it is right here for you because the temperance just means this is a close intimate loving relationship and not only is it loving you never thought that you could give and receive you know you're always usually the one giving but you have the six of coins or the six of pentacles here six of pentacles is all about giving and receiving this is just a good person for your very being 
for your very soul. This is just a very good person that is there for you, that listens to you. You talk to each other. They're younger than you, but they're more than you could have ever expected. You just Your intent was just to be a free spirit, just to date, just to enjoy them. And you're falling, you're both falling in love with each other. They're kind, they're sweet, they're generous. They give to you so much. And here's a chariot card. The chariot card can be a cancer person. It represents the cancer sign. Remember a general read, so it can be anyone. But the chariot means go, 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 go. And this means that this relationship you will not walk away from and they will not walk away from you because it's almost a sense of you have found what you've been looking for. And you didn't even have to look for it. It just it showed up. But that's how it is. It showed up. Even though it's not everything that you wanted, they're younger than you, but they showed up. And here you are determined with the chariot. And I do believe that you guys both are determined to make this relationship work. This is a powerful relationship because it's built off of love. Um, it's built off of loving each other. It's built off of, you know, just, and you just fell in love. It wasn't like you were trying to make it happen. It just happened. So if this is your reading, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the reading because I see what is, has happened. I want to see what the spirit guys have to tell us more, more about this relationship. So if this is your reading, please just sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. If I were you, I would want to know, but it's up to you. So give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards. Why is the page of wands here? Spirit guys, show me. Why is the page of wands here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the page of wands here? Okay, I see the Seven of Swords here. And see, remember I said you were a free spirit? This is not this person that the Seven of Swords. The reason you were a free spirit and just was going with the flow is because you had been hurt by someone that had betrayed you. Someone betrayed you and you decided, you know what, I'm not going to look for a relationship. I'm just going to date. I'm just going to do what I do. I'm, I'm going to be a free spirit. I'm not going to be tied down. And uh, lo and behold, someone comes along that's younger than you younger than you that's good for you because you had no expectation for this you were just having fun so let's see why the sun card is here show me spirit guys why is the sun card here for my pisces show me spirit guys oh i have the eight of swords look at all this energy this air energy the eight of swords this could be an air sign as well but the eight of swords means that <laughs> You can walk away at any time because remember, you're just going to have fun with this. You're just going to enjoy this. You can walk away at any time, but something has gotten you attached to this person. You are attached to them. You uh, will not leave them. You feel trapped, but it's not. You're trapped in your own mind. You're trapped, but you're not trapped. You just are falling for them and you never thought this would happen. This was not your intent, but here they are and here you are young, having fun, enjoying life. And now you are feeling yourself being trapped with this, being trapped. This was not your intention. Like I said, you were not looking for love, but it showed up. So let's see why temperance is here. Because you have been hurt. You were a free spirit. You were just doing your thing. Why is temperance here? Show me spirit, guys. Show me why is temperance here. Oh, I have the five of wands. And you know what I think this is? Five of wands is all is conflict. But see, you're having conflict. Guess why? Because you're trying to still trying to push them away. You're falling in love and you're trying to tell them to go away. And you're having conflict with them because they're not leaving. <laughs> this is a close, intimate relationship that has been formed, has been built. They're not leaving. This temperance, this five of wands, this has become a very close, loving, intimate relationship. And you're trying to fight it. You're fighting it. You're telling them to go away. They're not leaving, though. So let's see why the Six of Coins or the Six of Pentacles is here. Six of Coins for this deck, Six of Pentacles on other decks. So why is this Six of Coins here? Oh, King of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here. Stop. Look at you. Look at you. This person has a lot of emotions for you. You have a lot of emotions for them. Here is what the King of Cups um, is an energy. King of Cups is an energy of someone that is holding back. Someone, when I say holding back, there is so much emotion going on in their heart space for this person. You have so much emotion going on, but you, you, you're trying not to show it because it's not what your intent was. 
but you can't help it. And otherwise, sometimes you, you're emotionally unavailable. Sometimes you're emotionally aloof about this. You act like you don't care, but man, do you care. This person will not go away because look at the six of pentacles here. This is a give, take, love, kindness, sweetness. They will not go away because you know what? They get you. They get it. They absolutely get it. So let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the chariot card here? Show me why is the chariot card here. I have the king of wands. Oh my, this is someone that can be a husband to you. This is someone that can be a husband. And they are determined, I think. With the chariot card here, I think they're determined. They're letting you know they don't care if they're younger than you. That doesn't mean anything to them. They And it shouldn't mean anything to you because they've showed themselves what they can bring to the table for you. So let's start at the very beginning. Here's a page of wands. You're a free spirit. You're not looking for anything because you've been betrayed. And that's why you're being a free spirit. They've cheated on you before. You said, whatever. I'm just going to learn how to enjoy life. And that's just what you're doing. Cooking classes, scuba diving, skydiving, whatever. You're doing whatever you want to do. Going back to school, whatever. And then there's someone here in your love space that comes. And this person in your love space comes there. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my goodness. And this is not your intent. But now you find yourself trapped with this person because of the, the energy that they bring to you. The sunshine that they bring to you. The happiness. They make you feel like you're young again. Even though they're younger than you, they make you feel that way. They, they, you enjoy them. Now you feel trapped. But guess what? This relationship has grown. It's, it's a loving relationship. Now it's not your, you were, you were just plain. You were not, it was not your intent. But you've fallen again because here's temperance. Temperance means this is a very intimate, a very close relationship. But here you are fighting with them. You know why you're fighting, right? You're fighting because you're, you're trying to push them away because you're saying, this was not my intent. I really don't, you know, was not trying to have a relationship. This was not my intent. Please go away. But they're not going away. Here's a six of coins or six of pentacles here. This is a very give and take relationship. They understand you. Even though you're the king of cups or have an energy of a king of cups, which is a person that is very, very emotional, but tends to not want to show their emotion because they're afraid. The king of cups can be afraid of getting hurt, can be afraid of getting hurt again. They hold on to their emotions, but inside their heart, they're just dying. It's just twirling their head all around. But here, and more in their heart because it's cups, more in their heart, they have so much emotion for you. So what has happened here is that you are, they're determined. They're determined the chariot card can be a cancer person, can be anyone. But here's this king of wands. They're determined because they want to marry you. They want to be your husband. They want to be your husband. They're determined. They're determined. So let's see. What do my angel oracles have to say to you? Oh, wow. They said, listen deeply. Listen deeply. And I think this really goes with this. Listen to what this person says. Even though they're younger than you, they have their ish going on. Listen to them. Don't lose this opportunity to be with them. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.